Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cole's Bible. This is your match reaction. Chelsea 3, uh, Luton nil. A first win for Mauricio Pochentino era. The night actually belongs to Raheem Sterling. Uh, two goals and an assist for Jackson's first goal uh, for the club. Uh, when they up their intensity, Luton just could not cope with Chelsea. They just could not cope with Chelsea. That's a worrying uh, lack of quality on show uh, for, for newly promoter side. Uh, Poach, I'm sure he's going to love this result. And not only the result, but he's going to love uh, the performance as well. He's all smile as he embraces all his prayers. Uh, a fully deserved uh, standing ovation from the crowd for Raheem Sterling. He was outstanding today, uh, convincing in the end for Chelsea here. And uh, I thought they played well. I really think that they did play well in this match. Uh, uh, not to mention the Liverpool game and uh, the, the West Ham game. They did play well in parts in those two games as well. They just couldn't get the results. But tonight, they scored goals and they, 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 they kept the clean sheet. And it's a massive win uh, for, for, for Mauricio Porcentino. Uh, up next, I think they're going to play Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. So their next game is going to be against Nottingham Forest and then Bournemouth. I think those two games, again, Chelsea could easily rack up wins and see themselves in that top four hunt and probably top five hunt since top five teams now qualify for the Champions League. So I'm pretty certain that they can finish in top five if they continue like this. And if you ask me what they need in this team, I've looked at the 90 minutes today again. I think Jackson is the weakest link uh, for Chelsea. I know he scored tonight, but I do think that that is the position that they want to improve on if they want to be a serious team to try to contend with the likes of Man City, try to compete with the big boys. I think they need a proper striker. And I don't think Jackson is the answer for that. So, but for now, you know, you just got to enjoy the W, enjoy this win and move on to the next one. Of course, they do have Nkuku coming as well. So that's another guy that can add in uh, more goals in that front line for sure, for sure. But do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. That's obvious. I mean, everybody, I think, is going to go for Raheem Sterling. He scored two goals and also assisted on uh, Jackson's goal. But not only the goals, like if you watch the game, he's taken on players. He's taken on two, three different, uh, two, three, four players at the same time. So it looks like the old uh, Raheem Sterling is back. So may that continue for Chelsea. Obviously, they're going to be <laughs> really, really happy uh, uh, seeing Raheem Sterling performing like that. Um, Casado didn't have the best of nights against West Ham, conceded a penalty, but today he was solid. He protected that back four as he's supposed to be. Enzo Fernandez also, uh, those two, they look really well. Enzo Fernandez and Casado, I think they're going to be solid uh, uh, in the upcoming season. I think they're going to be really, really strong in the middle of the park. I just think that that's one striker that they are lacking and Chelsea could be a complete team in my eyes. But do let me know. Like I said, do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. And yeah, people, make sure you smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.